Vamos sin presión Quieres saltarte todos los procesos Ya viene la acción Que tú me pidas Si no te sueltes Sube la tentación Siente la conexión Oh na 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 Sin prisa a llegar Baby va rápido va Ale Pa' que esta vuelta se note Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson. Another rock analysis video from the Apex Predator Billiards Training Club. My name is Apex Eleanor, your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor. Now, in this particular video here, I would usually tell you that it's a rather interesting rock. But, it's not an interesting rock. It's really a very dramatic rock. Probably one of the most dramatic hill hill matches that I have ever for myself in since i've been playing pool well i've had more i've had similar i'm gonna try to get a video for you and i'm gonna put it right here in the corner where you can see that whatever happens at the end of this rock didn't just happen for the first time in my career it actually happens more than one time these two times were very very fortuitous however though sometimes the pool gods are with you sometimes they are not with you in in whatever sense you've got to make use of whatever opportunity you get now here is a hill hill match between myself and a very familiar face that you've seen here on my channel shane green one of my very worthy adversaries we've been battling it out for years we've been we've been going up and down of who wins more or less but usually the competition between he and i are always very very close so it's a 10 ball race to seven I actually was at two he was at seven six pardon me and i found myself a way to dig myself right back into the match i will share a few of those videos also with you on my youtube shorts i'm gonna pull the, pull the video up from the beginning and i'm gonna walk you through the thought process of my of my decisions and his and i have a surprise for you at the end guys it's crazy how it is that something like this could possibly happen let's get it let's go all right guys so if this is the first time here on the channel do not forget to smash that subscribe button below that's the one that is in the bottom right hand corner uh hit that like button help me to get my content out here guys the more you hit the like button it's the better it's going to be for youtube to get the content out here so you can see these talented jamaican players who are playing very very good quality pool and of course leave some questions and comments down below i would love to hear from you guys all right so here we go lots of content coming out guys so stay tuned all right so fairly solid break on that shot somewhat of a control on the cue ball got a bit of kick but i got a favorable kick uh shane is not left with a shot so most likely shane has two options it's either to play safe or to play a push out so if decided to play a safe here and I'm assuming that he's trying to get some distance. All right, with that shot, he was obviously using some inside spin to try to hook me behind the three. He has left me somewhat tough on the one. The one is definitely makeable. Well, I'm at least I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go around and have a look to see if the one can pass. Uh, I think the one can pass. I believe, if I remember me playing this match, I believe that the one ball can actually pass in the um bottom right here where i am at at the end of the camera and i'm not sure if it can pass to the left but the position on the two is tough really really tough because to get that cue ball back into a position where it's makeable is going to be difficult so i've decided to play a safe over cutting the one here nicely bringing it back on the short rail and coming nicely around to use the eight four two and seven as a cluster Pretty good save, pretty good start. Shane decides here now to try to kick. He's perhaps trying to kick and stick, I'm not sure. All right, ooh, that was a good shot, but it's 10 ball. He didn't call his shot. I think the patrons in the pool hall thought that he called the shot, but he didn't. <laughs> so unfortunately, it's gonna be my turn and he has left me the nice shot here on the two. Now, a lot of you guys, whenever you're playing 8-ball, 9-ball, or 10-ball, whether you're amateurs or intermediate players, wherever you are watching from, a lot of the times, I've explained to you in most of my tutorial videos that you need to be able to identify the problem in the rack. Right now, you can see, there you can see, I just had a look at the 4. 
I'm all the way at the three, but I'm already planning where my next shot is. Now, as you can see there, I'm looking at the four, but at the same time, I'm looking at the angle that I need on the four to get back onto the five that is down at that side of the table. So if I can get somewhat straight in or just a tad an angle going either the left or the right side, whether towards the eight or towards the seven, preferably towards the seven, that would be ideal. So I have a dead straight in shot here on the three, so it requires speed control draw. Very good. That was pretty good. Could have been a lot better, but can you really ask for more? If I had perhaps trying to draw that two, 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 uh, probably a little bit more perfect, I would have probably scratched. I would have left myself self with a very deep, um, steep cut on that four. And the four already is a bit challenging to pass that 10 because I don't think I have a full pocket. So you can see I'm eyeing down my shot. See, I'm double checking my angle because I did miss a shot like this earlier in one of the rocks. And after missing the shot, no matter how the table looked, Shane just cleared up. So I had to be very, very careful with this. Nice control there. Now, honestly, I was trying to get into the eight. I was trying to use the eight as a stopper. But then the cue ball just kind of went through that alley, eight and seven. And that's left me a little awkward. Now, decision making time, guys. I have a cut on the five. The five is definitely makeable. But do I make the shot and then hope to get onto the six? Or get some sort of shot onto the six? See, I paused. Now, I want to ensure that whoever is watching this video, I don't know what level you're at in pool, but safety play is crucial when it comes to... And you have to have very good safety play. Now, here's what I'm trying right and i'm gonna get a little bit of fortune here and this happens whenever you try to play a good safe sometimes fortune happens now i'm trying to bank the five ball three reels one two three it came off a bit shorter than i predicted because i wanted to carry the five ball up to the short rail where the six is and i wanted to leave my opponent either a tough long shot or an unmakeable pot or Exactly what you see here, I would have loved to hook him behind the nine. The idea was to actually leave distance and leave it tough. But I got fortunate, hooked him behind the nine, and now my opponent has to either try to kick or do something of some sort. Now, I don't see Shane taking a look at the kick. I think that his only attempt here was just to make contact with the five. He's trying to do a masse, but this table, the cloth is very... It's, it, it doesn't grip spin very well on this table. You have to really put a lot and you have to really have some space between the blocking ball for you to go around it. So I'm not sure if Shane was aware of that, but he should be by now. He did miss that opportunity to kick at that five, two reels. That was an option. All right, ball in hand again. First lock in the game. I would say that it's luck because I did not plan to hook him behind the nine. Leaving myself with a nice angle here, just sliding between the 8 and the 7, or should I go around the 7? Alright, so I decided to go around the 7. There's a lot more space available, and I can allow my cue ball to run. The option there, I could have gone between the 8 and the 7, but then I would have to have very good speed control to stop where I had stopped. So I decided to go two rails behind the 7. Now, as you can see, I'm always walking around to look at my angles. Now, here's my first uh, time where I'm in between decisions. Should I stop and accept the 8 into the side that's carrying me down rail? Should I stun across and try to get it down into the bottom right? Should I stop and take it perhaps into the top left? I'm in between decisions. However, though, I've decided that, hey, since the angle is there, just roll up and try to get it back into the side. Again, the table is a little fast. So I got a, you know, I still get a shot similar to that that I got on the four. It's very similar. But like I said, I missed a shot like this earlier because I was playing position. Now, here's where, again, as I said, sometimes I'm not sure if this has ever happened to you guys. But it's crazy sometimes how this game will play in your favor. Now, I know exactly what to do. To get the cue ball back over to where the 9 is. 
but I'm a little bit scared because of the shot that I missed on the f- on on a previous shot in a previous rock. And I can tell you right now that the nerves have chipped in because this is a hill hill match. I'm coming from literally zero to try to get Shane on the hill. So I've got to try to make the shot, but I don't want to make the shot and I do not get a position. So I decided that, hey, I'm just going to go for it. Boom, miss. Get the cue ball to go over and watch this eight ball comes around for reals. Absolutely. Do I say it's beautiful? Do I say it's luck? You can see my friend there, Lee Miller, just walking out of the pool hall. It's unbelievable how luck can play an important role. I had to walk to the bathroom because I cannot believe my eyes. It's absolutely crazy. I did not plan that in any way, shape, or form, guys. Craziest shot I've ever played. And like I said, you've seen it earlier in a video where I actually played a shot like this. I'm going to run that video again. I really want you to see that, I don't know, it seems as if this four rail bank really resonates with me because I'm telling you from now, honestly, it's crazy. I was so shocked. I had to settle myself down. Because right now I'm on the nine and you can see that I even left myself a bit bad because I was st- the adrenaline was still pumping. I was still in disbelief. The idea was just to stroke that nine ball really cleanly, really smoothly and just come back up straight into the line. I really didn't need to hit the rail so hard. Now I left myself a bit tough. It's the last shot. It's crazy guys. All right, let me know in the comments if you have ever had a situation that has ever happened to you. All right, I'm getting down, but I'm a little nervous. I'm definitely a little nervous on this shot. All right, so I'm going to get up back. I'm going to walk around. There Shane is at the back. He was just waiting for the ball to be deposited. But uh, it's crazy. See, I'm asking him, are you conceding the match? Are you conceding the match? Because you're walking around and what they would call this in America, I'm not sure if you guys... um. Or if the players do this to you, it's called sharking. All right. But we were having some fun. The music was a bit low, but I was definitely nervous. Right. I've been nervous a lot in my life when I've been playing big matches. Right. Especially when I'm on the hill, I tend to get a little bit nervous, but I have control. And um, is this a tough shot? I'm not sure. It's beyond 45 degrees. Or is it? It's about 45 degrees or so. So I kind of know where the aiming spot is. But let's see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in. Nicely done. All right. I hope you enjoyed that little video. I hope you enjoyed this particular match. Do not forget to smash the subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave some comments and questions down below. Let me know. Let me know, guys, if this has ever happened to you. Do take care. Until next time, I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye, guys. Vamos sin presión, quieres saltarte todos los procesos, ya viene la acción. Que tú me pidas, si no te sueltes, sube la tentación, siente la conexión. Oh, na, 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 sin prisa a llegar. Baby, va rápido, bájale, pa' que esta vuelta sea.